Good morning. Um, I am at home at my parents' place in Michigan. You guys might recognize this gal. That's my mom. Jackson was just here, my little nephew, and he just left. And so then I roped her, and she actually hates yeah. doing stuff like this. And and she was like, oh, man, I wish I'd done this while Jackson was here. So, like, I'm the... She's the he's offering a replacement, <laughs> yeah. Um, and we were just about to sit down and have... All, all we eat for breakfast is we share one half of an English muffin. Right. You didn't see the first course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually just ate a bunch of stuff. But the reason I wanted to have this is because she ate her first English muffin with freezer jam, and I hadn't gotten any of it, so I wanted some. Um, and she wanted me to clarify she did not make this freezer jam. But we did when she was growing up. And that's my we question. Ate it all. Here's my question. I remember hearing freezer jam all the time growing up. But, like, I don't understand why is some jam jam and some jam freezer jam. What is freezer jam? You just, it's real simple to make. And then you just stick it in the freezer. You don't have to boil it and let the little thing on the top of the lid pop. And it's just, and it tastes just like fresh strawberries. And but wait, so, are, like... So, Most jam you have to cook and then you have to let it cool and you have to have it in this jars and the top has to pop. And So then is this more healthy then because you don't put in all that like no, thickening and stuff? No, it's not any healthier. This yes, is just, it is. No, it's not. It's just that this Less tastes sugar. so awesome. So those of you who know what freezer jam is, you're going to know what this tastes like. Yeah, but we can describe it for you, right? Yeah. Mm. Also, you're drinking tea because you only drink tea. Literally, that's all she drinks. Well, and water. Uh -huh. um, and then you I'm guys boring. might recognize this. Oh, nope, it's not my mug. But they have my black mug here in Michigan, so I don't have to transport this. Because literally, my mug back in Portland, is, is I mean, these weigh 342 pounds. <laughs> so I can't travel with it, so I got one at home. Really? It's that heavy? Yeah. Well, it is pretty heavy. Yeah. That's why it stays hot for nine hours. That's right. Okay. So, good commercial for Thermos. I know. Dot com. This Monday morning update is endorsed by Thermos. <laughs> um, do you like having me home? I love it. We did a Google Hangout last night with my brother and my dad. And you wouldn't come on. Because why? What were you doing? I was doing her laundry. She's so sweet. I am. I, I put all of my clothes, dirty clothes, in a bag and bring them home. And then she does it. It's just, she, she just wants to serve. I'm not going <laughs> to deny her of that spiritual gift. That's right. That's right. She wants me to live it out to the fullest. <laughs> I do want to tell you that she does go to the laundromat in between the time she comes home. Very rarely. <laughs> but she, this time she just brought what she, late, the latest I, here's the thing. It's not that I don't like doing laundry. She doesn't have a washer and dryer in her apartment. Oh, I do. It's downstairs. But it's creepy and it's old and it's gross. And if I you agree. go down there and it's already full and you're waiting and you could get murdered. And I just don't like doing that. So I bring it home to her. And I don't want her to get murdered either. Yeah. See? So. Yeah. And, and I do like doing laundry. So. Yeah. It's quite. She's a rare little duck. Um, okay. But they want to know what's going to be on your website this oh, week. Oh, well, thank you for setting me up, Sally. Um, <laughs> okay, Susie. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Her name's Sarah. My name's Joy. But we call each other Sally and Susie. I don't really know why. But anyways, on the site, oh, another Tuesdays with Normie, if you haven't been watching them. Those are so good. She's a fan of everything that I do. Um, well. Yeah. <laughs> what do you not like no, that I do? I'm not Let's right. talk about that. No, I don't. No. I, I can't think of one thing. I'm just joking. She's got a list in her head right now. No, I don't. Um, oh, so Tuesdays with Norman, we're going to talk about how to make a successful marriage, like keys that he's seen, because he's, he's the head of counseling at Western Seminary, and so he's met with a lot of people. And so, they have so much fun together. Yeah, in he's this a really funny guy. so good. Thanks, Mom. And he's so wise. Yeah. And you are, too. Oh. You're a good question asker, and he gave great answers. You know, it's nice to have this kind of support. <laughs> um... <laughs> And then, oh, on Thursday, you know I've been on the Relevant Podcast, yeah. filling in for Shauna Nyquist. Is it Nyquist or Nyquist? We've had a debate over this. What do you think She's it is? She's your friend. Why don't you ask her? I Well, I could, but how do you think it's said? Other people have said Shauna Nyquist. And then we've heard on the Relevant Podcast, Nyquist. 
Shauna, are you out there? What is it? I do we want it? Our last name is pronounced. Eggerich. Yeah, people have difficulties with that. Just You've remember rich eggs, rich and eggs. then you can... Si the That's S how you is spell silent. it. The S is silent. Yeah. Um, okay, so because of that, and I've done an illumination series, I've interviewed a number of my friends about what were their illumination moments so that we can all kind of learn from each other. And so I interviewed uh, Cameron Strang, who started Relevant like 14 years ago, um, about how he got the inspiration, the illumination moment, if you will, for Relevant. So that's on Thursday. That's what's coming up on the blog. Are you pumped? Are you just beyond excited? I'm excited. I'm so excited. She just waits every Tuesday and Thursday to get the email. If you don't get the email, if you don't get the, the post, just sign up on the website, loveandrespect.com. No. It's not loveandrespect.com. What is it? What's my site? Oh, Love and Respect Now. Thank you. Oh, I thought you said the now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, and then you can get them right to your inbox. This is getting long, but people love you. Tell them how much you love them. I love you all. I love you for loving my daughter. <laughs> She's so fun, isn't she? You know, I named her Joy. You want to know why I named her Joy? Set, perfect setup. Yeah. Because in Proverbs it says, a joyful heart does good like a medicine. And I prayed before she was born that she, if she was a girl, <laughs> I wasn't going to name her Joy if she was a boy, but she came out and she was a girl, so I named her Joy. You guys, I'm your dime tap <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I prayed, that she do good like a medicine. And when she was little, we used to go visit the retirement home, and she would bring joy to all the elderly people. And now she still does that. Um, uh, when I she... like geriatrics. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thanks for loving her, and thank you for loving people. Nice I appreciate job. that. All right, kids. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.